Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stephen Kuhn. This is my DBS1 Lab 9 video for my ER diagram. Let's go ahead and jump right in. This is um, scenario one for the MMO. To play a multiplayer game, you obviously have to sign up. So we first have the users table. First name, last name, username, password. Um, you sign up with the user email and you have to denote your date of birth. Um, you notice closer to the bottom of the table I use a boolean for user status. Um, you're either playing a game or you're not playing the game basically. You're online or you're off. Um, and then I've added a custom variable down at the bottom called dinar currency. In the text assignment we are told that in-game currency is referred to as dinar but we're not told where to place it within the tables. So I originally tried equipment, later tried user inventory, but I later decided on users just because of how often the variable is going to be called and how many um, in-game things it will affect. Uh, so going from there we have a lot of relationships out in the void of my diagram. Um, for starters, the user type you're a customer, an admin, or a super admin, um, denoted by primary key user type ID, and a var car to explain. Next relationship is payment, so payment ID to track in between users, and a payment method, yet another boolean. You either pay with a credit card or you pay with a bank account. So each case, either credit card number and expiration date, or account number and routing number. Um, I want to jump into equipment, but because it's three tables as opposed to clans two tables, um, I just want to talk about the in-between you see here. Um, so I guess I should start out, well, no, we should be good. Um, you can equip multiple items. Being a human is awesome. We have two hands and opposable thumbs. You can hold a sword and a shield. So by that logic, you should be able to equip multiple items at the same time. So because of that, I have a many-to-many -many relationship with a user inventory in the middle. So this will track user ID as well as equipment ID. And that might not necessarily be anything player end might see, but for the game, every time you spawn, every time you connect, this is information that the game needs to see. So jumping back down to clan, we have a different kind of relationship. You can't be in multiple clans, and you can't have multiple ranks. You are either in a clan or you're not, and you are either the leader, or you're a member, or you're just not in you don't have a rank. Um, so these ones are a little easier to understand. Clan member rank ID is uh, null if you're not in a clan, but if you are, it's either a one or a two. You're a member or you're a leader. Clan ID, just a clan you're in. Um, I've made clan name a index because throughout gameplay, Multiplayer games have a tendency to show what group you are in, um, a clan tag, gamer tag, whatever. It's usually shown around the username so that uh, team players can cooperate better. Um, I'll get into some of the other indexes near the end of this, but let's just jump into equipment and then we'll cover indexes. Um, like I said earlier, the many-to-many -many relationship allows me to track individual users and what they have equipped, whereas my equipment window follows equipment type up here in my foreign key, and that all comes down to cost, healing rate, if it's potions, armor, damage, and equipment description. Um, that basically covers all the tables. Um, for the indexes, under status, that's one of my first. Um, you always need to know if you are online or offline. Um, 
under equipment, I have damage, armor, heal rate, and cost all constant so that they can be called in at any time. Um, if you're in a fight, you're going to want to know your damage and you're going to want to know how much armor you have. And if things really don't go your way, you're going to want to know how much your potion is going to heal you for. Uh, another ver uh, another index I have is dinar currency. You're always going to want to know how much money you have. Um, so yeah, that is my DBS1 Lab 9 project. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.